what is up my b-boss baddies and my bomb mom fellas it is your girl boss son and welcome b-boss army so as you have to have my title today we're going to be talking about secret places a woman get turned on when you touch or i said it differently i said it backwards but basically we're talking about places you can touch women to turn them on and so with that being said you guys i'm going to tell you three today there is some i said in the past so if you want to check out those those videos you can they're out there and also i will be doing a lot more versions of this because there's always stuff to say well for certain topics and this one there's some more places that i still want to talk about so with that being said you guys i want to let you guys know that we are going to be talking about more of the freaky things very very soon or not very soon but you're going to see a lot this week and probably next week as well um just because i told you guys like probably about a week ago that we will be so now is the time so with that being said, you guys can comment what types of freaky videos or turn off videos. We could just call it sexual videos or grown, grown talk or something like that. I don't know. I'll figure it out. But comment down below and of course, give this video a big thumbs up. And yes, you guys already know, subscribe to my new YouTube channel. You guys, that's all I need you guys to do. Just go subscribe. And if you want to support me that way, you can go ahead and like some videos that you like. Other than that, please go ahead and subscribe and support your girl. And so let's go ahead and get started. So we start from three, go down to one. So that means what? You got to watch until the end to get the number one thing. So number three on my list is feet. Now, first of all, for those who watched my videos in the past, I talked about feet. But I have something to talk about completely new today. So I talk about sucks. I talked about sucking in that video, whatever video it was. It was probably like my first or my second. I'm not sure. But that's not what we're going to talk about. I'll tell you a little bit at the end. But this is what we're talking about. So feet is one of the places that actually turn on women. First of all, a woman has to be into feet. And she also cannot be ticklish. And so that's why I kind of put it as number three. And also, you guys... I don't have water today like you know i just kind of said i'll be good because my videos are short uh, yeah but um also you guys i will be talking a lot slower i catch myself sometimes talking fast and i know you guys told me you want me to talk slower you know i just get excited sometimes and try to get out so much so i'll try to talk slower if it's still not slow enough or if there's other suggestions you guys have just let me know and so back to number three this whole massage thing she can't be ticklish and she has to be into feet you have to understand that if she's not into feet she's gonna get turned off and she's also gonna be disgusted that you like sucking and i told you i'm not gonna really talk about sucking but we can talk about sucking licking kissing you know anything that has to be has to do with this on there because we're gonna talk about massage that's the key thing about the feet and how it can turn on a woman but this area right here where you guys want to just jump in and maybe you guys experienced some in the past this is an area that you have to be very careful as far as not going or going in and not knowing because most times if you go in and not know you'll get the answer right away but sometimes you could have avoided it so i'm not saying ask her if she's ticklish or you know it was certain errors you can do that but you also have to not care about a woman or act like you don't care so those things you should just have a regular conversation and hope that she brings it up or talk about things around it so you can figure out if that's something she would like okay so let's get that out of the way i'll talk about it more later the sucking and the actual lips on there and things you can do with your lips but i won't say too much you guys can check out those other videos um but the main thing that i told you guys we're going to be talking about when we're right back to it is massage so you guys i want you to understand secret places first of all is places that you know are not common it's places that you guys don't really know and so don't get scared because of secret places secret just really take it like this women don't talk about it common commonly and also what you guys can understand um sorry just fixing my ball <laughs> also what you guys can understand that it plays different for each woman if you're different than the last woman then of course you're not gonna like this you get what i'm saying and if you're and you have to remember as well you you should start slow you shouldn't rush into it so if you're doing something like a massage and you think to yourself oh i can never do a massage to turn her on then you're not good you're not good with your hands enough or maybe you don't have soft stuff i'm trying to you see when i talk slow i still want to say so much or maybe you don't have soft enough hands okay so before i get into like you know maintenance and things that can help you to turn around more that you can specifically work work on yourself let's just wrap up to say the massage thing as i was trying to get to when i started <laughs> what i was saying is to tell you that you don't have to rush into it slow and steady will win the race honestly you guys like 
it's not a, it's not just a saying or it could be a saying that's meant for a woman because when you go ahead and take your time massage her out get her comfortable get her in the mood why would she not get turned on how do you guys think a lot of girls that are not into a man sometimes they're not even sexually attractive attracted to that man like no cap you guys but how do you guys think women like that end up giving up the pussy to a man that's you know the opposite of what she wants or a guy that she would probably wouldn't it's because he took his time. It's because he knew what to say. It's because he wasn't rushing. It's because he made sure she felt good, right? If you put a woman in the right time in first place, she's going to actually appreciate you. And so the best time when you know women nowadays are willing to give up the VJJ for money and status, you should know enough will be if you say a certain thing that has to do with the next paycheck that you're going to make. Let's say, you know, you just got a promotion. You worked so many hours this week. Oh, well, you know, you let her let it be known to her, right? Okay, so don't get excited saying that, oh, this is going to work, this is going to work. No, no, you stay cool as a man. Go ahead, give her the massage, warm up her feet, rub her feet. Like, women love this stuff, you know what I mean? But go ahead, rub her feet, warm, warm up her feet, and then you can go ahead. I'm not saying this again and all that stuff, you should do it. Like I said, if she likes it, go ahead and do it, okay? Um, and honestly, I'm not going to get too into it because sucking and all that stuff is very self-explanatory. If she's into that, she's going to like it. It's a freaky thing. Women have kinky things as well that they like. Freaky things. You have to think outside the box as well. Not to say do crazy things, especially when, you know, you just started messing with a woman. But all in all, don't be basic because girls get bored fast. Fast as heck, okay? So last thing I'll just say quickly before I move on to number three is that this whole massage thing... I want you guys to understand, like, you got to start step by step if you're trying to turn her on. Yes, sometimes women can get turned on quickly by certain guys. But you have to remember, if you don't have, you know, luck with women or it's just not something that you're good at turning a woman on, take other routes that's not so obvious. So not to say you have to think outside the box always to do crazy things or odd things or weird kinky things. No, you can also think outside the box to know that, hey, you're fine as hell. You're sexy as fuck. And all these guys want you. But guess what? I gotta think outside the box or I gotta think like an alpha so I can't want you the same way these other guys want you so I'm not gonna come on to you that way I'm gonna come on to you with giving you a massage simple right and I'm not saying do this I'm just talking about if this comes about or this feels like the right time okay because don't get it twisted these some most of these girls don't deserve massages out here okay so next thing also is number two I mean not next thing number two on my list is earlobe oh my gosh now I talked to you guys about the area the ear area and you know I just said overall ear but this time I want to break it down to earlobe now, if you guys don't know where the earlobe is, honestly, I would say right here because like that is technically where I feel like the earlobe, this is where the earlobe is, but I'm just trying to say that people overall will define the area of the, the, the ear as just the ear, if that makes sense. So all in all, I want to focus on this earlobe area, area, and the first thing that I want to say about this earlobe area is that this hits the spot now before we get into the freaky stuff this right here a woman would enjoy because it's relaxing right now if she's sensitive around the area and she has infections or you know like so i don't know maybe she just had dirty ears or they get dirty or you can't touch her ears that's obviously not gonna apply to her but i'm saying this is a kinky and a weird thing that you know it's a secret to a lot of girls because you know no girl's just gonna jump out and just tell a man, well, I love getting my ear sucked or I love my earlobes being rubbed, right? So first thing I wanna say is rubbing her earlobe, you guys, when you rub it, go ahead once again, be gentle. So the whole thing too is the massage will apply to every part of what I'm saying. When you're physical with a woman, you want to be gentle, you want to be careful, especially, especially around the ear area. First of all, you guys know like the ear catches all the sound. So of course, if you're over here, like, you know, or like, don't do that because it's going to be like, get off me, get out of my ear. And it's definitely not going to be a turn on. Matter of fact, it's going to be a turn off. But this area, if you're soft and you're gentle and you put your lips on there. And honestly, I would recommend you guys not to put your lips when you don't really know her. You know what I mean? But not to be so obvious. More so, you should save this for a girl that you've been messing with more often a few times. Because sometimes as well, that's when you're probably going to try new things, right? Sometimes you're not going to know what she wants. Sometimes you're not going to find out easily. So sometimes you just try it out, you, you, you just go for it, she doesn't like it, she doesn't like it. And this is what I'll say to you guys that will be, you know, one of the highlights of this video is that 
if she doesn't like it you guys don't take a loss you guys take a bigger loss if you don't do it so if you try something out and she instantly reacts like ew don't do it that's not a loss that's her just telling you the loss becomes when the loss comes in when you go ahead and do it again and then she finally cuts you off or something like that or you know you finally you won't get the vijay or you're so close to get it but you couldn't have getting gotten it because you went ahead and what went ahead and you know you know what i'm saying okay so to wrap up, to go ahead and finish off with this earlobe thing, I want you guys to get that the earlobe is just the ear area that is uncommon and it's also a place that some girls don't even know that they like okay so go ahead and try try it out but don't rush into the earlobe that's something i was still like i said save later on and like i said be very gentle okay and lastly you guys make sure you're not putting dry chap lips like i don't remind you guys as much i should be reminding myself like lately yeah, i've been putting more moisturizer you guys but I be talking so much that dry and chapless, you know, it's not my friend anymore, but it was. But you guys, don't let it be your friend, okay? Especially around a woman, huge turn off, okay? So I'll talk more about other things that have to do with the earlobes and all that in the next video. But you guys know my video is around 10 minutes normally now. So, you know, we're already past that. So number one on my list is inner wrist. This inner wrist, first things first, once again, it's a sensitive area, area you have to be careful with. So what does that exactly tell me? That tells me any area of the body you have to be sensitive with. But when we go down to this inner wrist, it's a weird spot that you have to be way more attentive. You have to be way more careful with that area. And it's not, oh, like it's the earlobe where she's going to be like, excuse me. Um, she's going to be like, oh my gosh, don't do that. Um, Like react quicker. The, the the area of the inner wrist, because it's not like a sexual area, you know, um, I don't know what word I'm looking for, but that part that, you know, everybody sees, it's not something that's hidden. It's a secret spot. So, and I mean to say, like, you know, nobody thinks of going ahead and turning a woman on by her wrist, but because it's a sensitive spot, you guys, what's here? What's here? Our pulse. This is where the pulse point is. And also in other spots like the vagina, we have the clit, right? So where the clit is, that's sensitive. Once again, vibration right there. That's the most sensitive spot of a, of a woman's area. So now when you have a spot that's relatable, it's still sensitive. It doesn't mean that it's the same sensitiveness. Would you guys not think that? And I'm not saying you guys should be thinking this, but I'm saying, would you guys not think to touch it? And it'll give a little tingle, right? Now, here's the other thing about turning on a woman. You can do the same thing to a woman and not turn her on the second time when you did it. So it's also, that's why I tell you guys, take your time it's also the timing the place you know did you do it too soon did you do it too late is this the best place you know don't be that guy that wants to try to just take that woman to the room and smash her right like a girl that has some sort of morals she's definitely not gonna smash you right and i'm not saying that she will but that's not the best time because even if she didn't have morals she might just say well Come on now, what do you think I what do you think what type of woman I am? There's guys out here, you wanna and women out here, you want me to, you wanna take me to a room? What do I look like, right? So it's just like timing, place, all that stuff matters. Every part of it matters. Cause I'm just, I'm thinking you guys are trying to turn her on to get inside of her. So of course, if you're trying to do that, make sure that you are making sure everything around it is accurate or at least trying, you know, don't force it. Okay, but back to what I was saying, so we can close off this sensitive part of her body. You guys have to keep in mind that it doesn't always have to be common. That's why it's secret places. And another thing, and I don't know if I really kind of said it, but I'll say this and I'll make it clear. If it's my first or my second time, I'll make it clear. If she does not like that, okay, it does not mean that she doesn't want you to do it again a later time if her reaction wasn't don't do it again or, oh, I hate it. So in her wrist, let's just say this. Let's talk about the opposite thing real quick because I'm about to wrap up. Let's talk about you do the inner wrist. She actually does like it, but you never tried it. So this whole time she didn't even know something like the inner wrist, you know, something, you know, you don't find it out until you start trying different things. Right. So all in all, I'm just saying you might bring something to her life that she might not even know that she's into or that turns her on. OK, so I'm basically just going to say to you guys, if it seems like she's bored or she seems like a wild one, these are places and areas you guys can try to go ahead and do something about around and you know make her turned on hopefully she gets turned on right so i really hope this video was helpful i have more of course to do for you guys and you guys know make sure you comment down below what types of videos you want to see give this video a big thumbs up and you guys will see me in my next video bye y'all